Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at this Leaflet problem both in the APL dialect BQN and in GPU capable C++ with the help of a couple libraries. First, I have a problem up here on the screen. We're given a string like this one right here and we have to identify the max number of balanced substrings between the characters R and L. I have a diagram here that shows how I solved this one. I think of every R as an increase and every L as a decrease. Such that every moment where this line here meets the origin we have a balanced substring, just as here, here, here. So in these four locations, that's a balanced substring, such as there. So the answer for this problem would be four. Let's jump right into the BQN solution. I have the solution up here, and it can be broken down into three or so steps. So let's pull up the BQN interpreter. Let's set our input to be this. As a first step, I would like to switch out all the R's for 1's and all the L's for negative 1's. So to start, we can just subtract the null character. Hmm. There we go. From here, I can check against the character code for R, which I know is 82. And after this, I can multiply by 2 and subtract 1 to give us 1's and negative 1's. Which is going to be something like this. After this, I'll perform a sum scan, which gives us the height of the line in the diagram I showed earlier. Okay, And after that, I can uh, count all the zeros that I find for each test case, and we should have our answers. So we'll perform a sum reduction on locations, which equal 0 and we get 4, which is what we expected. So we'll run the full BQN solution, and we get the values 4, 3, 1, and 2, which is what we expected. Now we can get into the GPU-capable version. In this window, I have the BQN solution in a C++ comment down here for you to refer back to. I'll put the link to the source code in the description. I'll be using the libraries Raja and Empire. Raja abstracts over portable execution, say, for example, an open, OpenMP parallel region or CUDA or HIP kernel, and umpire abstracts over memory management, as with CUDA mem copies or HIP mem copies. Here I have some using statements, which we can gloss over for the time being. These really determine where the kernels will be executed and where the memory will be allocated. Here's the BQN solution. Here I have the test cases in a vector of tuples, which describe the problem as a string and the expected answer. Down here, this workspace array will live on the device, but we're using unified virtual memory so we can write to this on the host and access it on the device. So for each test case, I'll pull out the test case string and the solution. And here is just the size of the string representation of the problem. In this loop, I copy the string for the problem onto the hope onto the GPU array that we allocated earlier. The first real step here is the same as with the BQN solution. We map the array from the character array into ones and negative ones. If we find an R, then we give a one, otherwise a negative one. After that, I perform an in place sum scan. This is the same as plus forward tick in BQN. The default operation for a scan in Raja is operator plus, which is exactly what we want, so we'll just call the function. If we wanted to use a custom operator, we could pass that as our second, second argument right here. Finally, we perform a sum reduction to get our answer. The sum reduce, the, this reduce sum is a special type which gives us a value that can be written from multiple device threads. So here we add the int representation of the Boolean given by this expression, which basically increments this value for all uh, zeros that we find, which is what we want. After that, we add our answer to the vector of answers and then we print out the answers that we got and deallocate the array on the device. So let's compile this and see what we get. You could also build this uh, in order to run everything on a CPU. I have configured everything to run using CUDA, as you can see right there. So this will run on the GPU, but you could configure this code base to run on either location. Looks like everything built just fine, so let's test it out. 4312, 
34312, just like we got with our VQN solution. And there we have it, the answer that we expected. So what I would like everybody to take away from this is that thinking in terms of array operations is the only way to develop for GPUs. And array languages force you to do just that, to think in terms of operations on arrays instead of sequential execution. You're not able to think in terms of sequential loops if you want to gain any performance. A second reason is that most of the algorithms that you use in an array language like VQN are well understood primitives. Other folks have been researching how to run a parallel reduction or scan for years now. If we think in terms of these general algorithms, we can write performant code that leverages years of research and development. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks!